Okay, let's go and fix the slow data connection from Stratel Wireless on your smartphone. Uh, first and quick step is just uh, turn off your Wi-Fi. And I'm going to show you four different steps to uh, fix this issue. So please remain with, stay with me during the video. And, what in, and the last one is the one that are really, really important for you to apply on your phone. Okay, so the first quick thing, just disable Wi-Fi. Second step is just uh, reboot your phone restart okay you don't see any difference just uh, open the notification screen and uh, turn off airplane mode okay airplane mode uh, wait five to ten seconds and turn off airplane mode there you go now turn it off and you're gonna see here there's no service and then the phone will start internally reboot and try to connect the or, or detect the SIM card. And if this doesn't fix the problem, let's go really quick and remove with the phone power on, remove the SIM card slot. Okay, you're gonna see at the upper right, it says emergency call only. There's nothing in the phone. Wait five to 10 seconds and put the SIM card in again. Okay, and now you will start that the phone is working. So it's, it's still no service. Uh, you only see the tower, you don't see anything like LTE or something like that. Um, and then I just, um, let's go really quick and open settings. Okay, on settings, let's go to network and internet. And now mobile network. And uh, mobile data, it's off. So make sure the mobile data is on. And you're going to see something really fast, same, same different on your um screen and now that means that um, and now you can go ahead and uh, reboot your phone and log into the internet uh, or open any application that you would like to open on your phone make sure that the roaming data is on that means that you go outside of straight talk wireless coverage area you will be able to um, use towers from t-mobile verizon and things like that okay so and at and so now uh, let's go really quick and uh, if this doesn't uh, steal your phone, it doesn't work. Let's go and go to advance. Okay, and also make sure that the uh, BOLTE is on, okay? Because if this one is off, you wanna experience uh, bad data as well. Okay, so let's go and enable this feature and let's go and um, on preferred network type, it's global, so uh, you can, if this doesn't, uh, you don't see any LTE at the, at the screen, let's go and select the LG uh, GSM UMTS, okay? And then um, immediately you have to see something uh, different on your uh, screen as well, okay? So let's go back and go to advance. And what you're gonna do here is let's go and find the APN or access point names, which is this one. Okay, and going back to select network, automatic, automatic, okay, automatic default. And if I don't see anything change on my skin or I'm still I am struggling with the internet is slow, I'm gonna choose um, a GSM only says battery, UMTMs only better performance, so automatically, uh, I will choose this one just to make the phone um, search network and also help my SIM cards to somehow uh, detect any network. I'm gonna go back and switch to automatic or default, okay? And then let's go to access point name and make sure that your phone is uh, locked to try to wireless. That means that it's not an unlocked phone. Because if we if you do this one on unlock phone, you're gonna lose your um, APN values. So I have a, a different video uh, providing the values of these APN settings from uh, Stride Talk Wireless. So just find it in my uh, channel in case that by accident you do this and uh, lose your uh, APN settings value. Uh, so when I touch here three dots at the bottom right. Uh, we're gonna touch the reset to default. That means uh, I'm gonna refresh and, and somehow it's gonna be delete the values and automatically replace it again. So 
uh, I'm gonna touch touch this one and at the bottom of the screen says completed okay if you get an error that means that something is wrong um, so the values are not uh, properly or, or not the right one so just uh, make sure that you do this on a straighter wireless and it, like I said if you have a unlocked phone you have to type the values manually okay so um, since I already refreshed my data and uh, you should be able to see uh, a change here on your screen and also if you have access to a website or use a application uh, it should, you should be, see a difference okay going back to the previous menu in case the SD stand doesn't work let's go to um, select network and um, select uh, UMTS only just to refresh the data okay you're gonna see at the uh, upper uh, size of the screen you're gonna see a X and then let's go back to the same area and select the automatic default okay just to uh, refresh again or move the SIM card somehow and have the SIM card work properly or um, let's disable automatically select network and your phone will start uh, searching uh, connecting the SIM card to the tower okay it's gonna, it's gonna see a list of different um, networks like T-Mobile, AT&T, uh, Sprint and then select any of these um, I'm gonna choose T-Mobile and it's uh, connecting then I'm making my SIM card to uh, search what tower or registered towers to T-Mobile and this is gonna take up to five minutes so just be patient and even if you don't see any positive uh, message on the screen don't worry about it which is what we are doing here you just try to move your SIM card okay so this message is basically is good because what we're trying here is to um, wait, wait your SIM card trying to connect to a tower so don't worry about it just says uh, switch to the global mode of course we, we need to switch that to the mobile um, that's why connected it's connected to the home and you should be able to um, uh, see a message there that is connecting or something and let's go back here and uh, go back to the previous screen and so the network type is global such as uh, um, okay let's open again and switch back to more global okay so now this is a default position that you should be able to have on your phone um, BOLTE has to be open I prefer network type global uh, system C select change to CMA roaming mode uh, select aromatic and access point names okay so you should be able to um, uh, fix your data with these steps and uh, let me know if you have any other questions and please subscribe to the channel and search my other tutorials related to uh, this Tritalk wireless uh, network in uh, smartphones. Thank you.